Today, we are gonna discuss more interview scenarios, questions, and tips. And we're gonna basically break this down into a series. So here is part one of interview tips, tricks, and scenarios. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions. We're gonna start off this series by going through basically stock interview questions that you would receive going to your first interview, your second interview, basically any interview that you're gonna go to where you're interviewing for an IT job. These are some of the questions that you are going to basically expect going into it. So we're gonna go over them and we'll go over maybe some answers that you can give or just have a general idea of some great tips that you guys should know going into it so that way you don't really get too nervous or screw up in the meantime, something like that. So the first question that we'll kind of go over is, tell me about a time when it was necessary for you to communicate technical information clearly to an audience. Remember, this may be something that is an interview question for one of the jobs that you're interviewing for. This may be something that you don't even have in the, your question pool for a job that you are interviewing for, but this is one question that could potentially be on the interview process. So if you, somebody's gonna say, tell me about a time when it was necessary for you to communicate technical information clearly to an audience. What they're looking for here is your ability to explain issues or explain technology to an end user. So that's your day-to-day -day person. Just think of somebody who basically knows nothing at all about technology. How would you explain a technical issue to them? That's what they're looking for here. So if, here's a scenario, the internet wasn't working on a machine, right? One of the PCs, your end user comes to you and says, my internet isn't working on a machine. Uh, how would you, relay that um, that technical information to this end user so that they understand it. You know, you could basically say, oh, well, it wasn't getting an IP, so I had to go into the command prompt and I had a uh, IP config space slash, you know, release, and then I had to do an IP config space slash renew, and then I got an IP address again, right? End user not gonna have any idea what you're talking about, and they're not gonna really appreciate that they don't like that. So what you would say instead of, you know that basically that scenario right there just say oh well our your machine wasn't talking to our network so it wasn't able to talk back out to the internet so I had to do a couple things on the machine to get it to reset and talk to the internet again so basically you guys are using very dumbed down uh, approaches to the end user and explaining things in terms that you know, they would understand, you know, you're not gonna tell somebody that you did all this just so it can connect to the internet, right? It, it, the way that you word it to an end user is completely different than you would word that to your coworker who is in IT as well. You know, you could never say what we just said to your coworker because they would look at you like, you have no idea what you're talking about. But using that terminology to an end user is huge because they'll understand it. They will pick up on that and they'll go about their day and they'll be happy about it, right? So there's just one brief example of something that you could say in regards to telling somebody about a time it was necessary to communicate technical information clearly to your audience. So just think of things like that. Think, think of all the things that you may have done in, in your past and in, in working. Uh, maybe you worked IT jobs before, maybe this is your first one, but you were in school and you had, were approached by somebody who needed some information. How did you explain that to them in a way that they understood? You know, it's, think of maybe you had to explain technical issues to your parents or one of your family members. And a lot of times they're not gonna understand it. So in what way did you explain the issue to them in a way that they understand it? That is one of the big things on a interview process that you may get, and you will get different questions that are very, very similar to this one in an interview. So what they are looking for is primarily, how can you explain these issues clearly that everybody can understand it? I hope this really helps you guys out. I hope this gives you a nice view in the process of where we're gonna be going here uh, with this channel more because we are gonna turn this this portion into a series where we will give you lots of interview questions and do scenarios like this and talk about some of the tips that I can give you guys and some examples that you guys can even use on your interview. So I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the interview tips, tricks and techniques and scenarios and all that fun stuff. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, you know what to do. You hit me up in the comments below. I'm more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take it easy.